In this lecture, I am going to explain you about side phase reinforcement. So, side phase reinforcement is necessary for the deep beams. and it is provided to prevent temperature cracks. So, and it is side phase reinforcement. It has no specific force cut criteria. It is not connected to your bending moment or shear force. So you can say like this. No specific force criteria. For side phase reinforcement, so we need to refer IS456-2000 code. So clause number 26.5.1.3. So page number, page number 47. So let me open the code here. So this is clause number 26.5.1.3. It is for side phase reinforcement. Where the depth of the web in a beam exceeds 750 mm, side phase reinforcement shall be provided along the two phases. The total area of such reinforcement shall not be less than 0.1% of the web area and shall be distributed equally on two phases at a spacing not exceeding 300 mm or web thickness whichever is less. So let me take an example. For example, I have a beam of size 300 by 1000 millimeter. So let me sketch it. So this is my cross section of beam. So this width of the beam is 300 millimeter. So whereas overall depth of the beam. So it is 1000 millimeter. So slab thickness so let me keep it as 200 mm. So on this side I have a slab. So this thickness of the slab is so this thickness of the slab is 200 mm. So web depth will become, so this is your web depth. So next your web depth. So overall depth minus thickness of slab. So overall depth of the beam is 1000 millimeter. So thickness of slab 200. So web depth it will be 800 millimeter. So this will be 800 millimeter. So let me open the code once again. 
where the depth of the web in a beam exceeds 750 mm. So in my case, the depth of the web is 800 mm. So in this case, you have to provide the side reinforcement where the depth of the web in a beam exceeds 750 mm. If it is less than 750 mm, no need to provide the side reinforcement. So, so next is the total area of such reinforcement shall not be less than 0.1% of the web area. So now let me calculate the web area. So web area means so this part. So web area. So width 300. So multiplied by depth of the web. So here some people will consider overall depth. So we need to consider depth of the web. So let me check. 300 multiplied by 800. So it will be 240 into 10 power 3. So it is in mm square. So this is my web area. So required reinforcement area So as per code, so it is minimum of so 0.1% of web area. So let me calculate it 0.1 multiplied by 100. So your web area is 240 into 10 power 3. Zero point one divided by hundred, so multiplied by so two, I think two forty into ten power three, so it will be two forty. So, so amount of side reinforcement it is required is two forty mm square. So let me check the code and it has to be distributed equally on two faces. See here. So this 240 mm square it is for two faces. So, so this is phase 1 and this is phase 2. So 240 mm square it is for two faces. So let me calculate the reinforcement area per face. So reinforcement area per face. So it is 240 divided by 2 so which means 120 mm square per face and code tells us about the spacing criteria also so equally distributed on two faces at a spacing not exceeding 300 mm or web thickness whichever is less so for spacing so first criteria is 300 mm so second criteria is web thickness so here i have assumed the beam of size 300 by 1000 millimeter so web thickness means your width of the beam so 
300 mm. So among these two, you need to provide lesser. So lesser of these two. So this is how you can interpret the side face reinforcement. So but some of the consultants calculate by considering the overall depth. So it will lead to overestimation of reinforcement requirements. So some of the clients, clients or engineers, so I will change the color. So I have taken here 800 mm. It is depth of the web. So some of the consultants will assume it as or will take this as 1000. They will consider overall depth. So it will lead to overestimation of reinforcement requirements. So it is very important to follow the IS codes. So in case of side reinforcements. So for side reinforcement, you can refer this clause. So clause number 26.5.1.3. So it is in page number 47.